Hi fellow dog fanciers, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll talk about male and female whippets and what are the differences between the two genders. There are quite a few, so grab a snack and prepare for a long video. Maybe after enough research you have finally decided uh, the whippet is the right breed for you and you are the right person for a whippet but you're not yet sure which gender is more suitable. Or maybe you want to know if your male slash female whippet is exhibiting normal behavior, or you're just watching this video for educational purposes. Whatever it is, I got you covered. If you're new here, I'm Adi and I've had whippets for 15 years. I'm currently owned by eight of them and I make breed specific videos and every once in a while a random one on a different dog or animal related topic. If that's your type of content, you want to learn more about the breed or you want to know that you're not alone in your love and passion for whippets, subscribe, support the channel and join our growing whippet family. Let's get into the video. I've owned 10 whippets and I've worked with many more here and also abroad and I can assure you there are significant differences in behavior and habits in both genders. But disclaimer, there are females that may behave more like a typical male and the other way around. So don't be surprised if your whippet girl is matching the male traits and vice versa. Not all dogs are made to fit the mold and there are exceptions to every rule. Let's get the very obvious physical traits out of the way. Male whippets are usually more masculine, a bit larger and heavier in body, bone and head. Females have a smaller frame and more gentle appearance compared to a male. Of course, depending on genetics and other factors, you may come across a taller female, like our girl Jamie here. But compared to a boy, she still has her feminine traits. Not to mention, whippets have fine, short coat, so you can almost immediately tell what they are from miles away. Nothing can stay hidden. In addition, unaltered female whippets will come in heat, just like almost every normal mammal. Depending on your individual girl, this will be twice or only once a year. Both cases are completely normal. Now let's move on to the more complicated part, the behavioral traits. Male whippets are the more happy-go-lucky kind. Because of this, they are often easier to work with. They are simply happy hounds and while they can be dramatic, they are whippets after all, their drama is more selective compared to that of a female. For example, a male whippet is dramatic because it's cold or because their bed is not made correctly and now they have to fix it. A female can become moody for no obvious reason. You're playing, having a great time and all of a sudden she will sit in a corner and will not want to do anything with you at this time. Or she will put on her unhappy years and face. Or her favorite seat is taken and now you have to stare at her moody face until it's available again. If you don't have a whippet, you would probably think that us whippet owners are imagining things or making this up. Oh, I wish. Whippets have such distinctive facial expressions that you can immediately tell when things go from joy, butterflies and rainbows to the wind is blowing the wrong way, leave me alone. So with boys, it's... Mostly very easy to tell why they're unhappy, but with girls you need at least 10 courses on how to become a mood detective and then a PhD to figure out what's bothering them. Because of their happy-go-lucky side, boys are usually more willing to cooperate and spend time with you when you're trying to teach them things. All they need is you, a treat, toy or whatever motivates them. They basically have less desire to focus on drama and therefore more time to focus on you. Girls on the other hand are more independent and busy and often you combined with a treat or a toy will not have any value. Compared to the important business they have to handle at this time and will goodbye you before you can even ask them to sit. 
As discussed on this channel numerous times, just keep in mind that whippets, regardless of gender, can be challenging dogs compared to more trainable or working breeds. They have short attention span and can be difficult to motivate, so sometimes doing things with and for you has no value. Both male and female whippets are very cuddly. They love attention, they want to be around you and are velcro dogs. However, boys are happy to be the center of your attention almost any time. Whenever you call them for cuddles, they're on their way. No questions asked. Girls, on the other hand, can be more independent. Sometimes you'd call them for some love and they will nope you. How dare you not see they have more important job than your clinginess. But then 10 minutes later, they will enter your personal space like a hurricane, demanding attention immediately, which you should have offered yesterday, you lazy human. What have you been doing all this time? You are fired. I like to call a female whippet a warrior and a male whippet a princess. Not without a reason, of course. Between the two genders, whippet girls are on average more durable. For example, if we take both Brady and Ruby to the park and the sun starts to set and all of a sudden the weather gets slightly colder, Brady will be miserable and start shaking right away. Ruby will not give a damn and will continue to run around. And now that we have snow, the girls are more willing to go out and play. The boys will run out to pee and then run back inside ASAP. In my experience, girls are also more tolerant of discomfort and pain. I'm not talking about broken leg kind of pain. But rather, you pick up your boy with it and you slightly pinch their leg by accident you would probably think their leg fell off by the volume of crying. Or if I step on someone's foot, not on purpose, of course, uh, but this sometimes happens because they're Velcro dogs and are at our feet almost all the time, the girls will just look at me and then I know I'm fired. But the boys will scream even though I barely touched their toe with the edge of my slipper. Back in the day when we were cutting nails instead of filing them, the boys would sometimes scream, tricking me into thinking I cut too deep, while well, in reality nothing happened, and the girls would usually not make a sound. Of course there are exceptions, our Skylar is just as loud and dramatic about the slightest bit of discomfort, but all my other girls can go out, fight a bear and come back home like nothing ever happened. In many breeds, typically, the males are more dominant. Logically, you'd think that nature and testosterone will have the same effect on whippets. Think again. I often associate female whippets with female hyenas because they're on top of the hierarchy. Females are usually the more dominant out of the two genders, while whippet boys are more submissive and prefer to stay out of conflict. Girls are spicy and like to remind everyone they rule the world and create chaos. Also because I mentioned hormones, I can definitely tell you that most of my girls get extremely cranky before they're in heat and at the beginning of their heat cycle. Also in my experience and that of many others who have larger packs of whippets at home, I can confidently say that boys are more welcoming and accepting of new whippets in the pack right away, no matter the gender of the stranger. In comparison, girls might need more time to accept new pack members. By far you know that female whippets are in general more dominant, tougher and they often need to worry about handling important business like going out to fight a bear. 
while males are the optimistic stay-at-home princesses that only worry about trivial things sometimes. So if you guess girls tend to be more active than boys, you're correct. Whippets become more laid back and lazier once they mature, which is usually around a year and a half to two years of age. But even then, girls will remain slightly more active and more willing to initiate various activities. Boys will engage in deep sleep all day, every day, if you're not ready to offer something nice to do, which you should, regardless of what type of whippet you have, as long as they don't have some sort of a disability. All healthy whippets will need walks and an explosive quick sprint at least once a day, every day, if the weather allows. A few days ago, I came across a post on uh, one Whippet group on Facebook and I saved the comments just to show you. Someone asked if people prefer male or female Whippets and here are some of the answers. Male Whippets every time, much more loving than the girls who seem to keep a wee bit of independence. Boys over girls any day of the week for me. Currently, I have five males and one girl, never a crossword between any of them and all are entire. Someone says, agree, my girl just had a litter, I can actually see it early in the puppies. Boys, much more relaxed and loving. And yes, I can definitely agree with this, we've raised four litters and very early on you can see how girls are more spicy and demanding and the boys are more chill and happy-go-lucky. And here is one more. After living with only girls for nearly 50 years, we kept a single boy. What can I say? He is easygoing and friendly boy, full of humor and a wonderful temper. He has really changed my thinking that girls are the best. We have six girls and two boys and I love both genders for different reasons. Yes, boys can be less challenging than girls on many occasions. They are easier and they don't cause conflict or chaos. But despite being a little more challenging, girls are so much fun with their moods and their opinion on everything. And easier to work with is sometimes boring to me, so I like that I have a bit of both worlds. So keep doing your research and let this video be just a single source of information until you decide which whippet is the right for you, the male or the female. Also, yes, I will say what I say almost every time. Think wisely about where you will get your whippet from, especially if you want a puppy. Unlike ethical, responsible breeders who breed for health, confirmation and temperament, backyard breeders and puppy mills do it only for the cash. If you get the whippet from the wrong place, you and only you will be responsible for the risk of ending up with a very messed up dog whose temperament has nothing to do with that of a whippet. So don't come at me if you've purchased a male whippet from an online marketplace that has a long record of health issues and the typical temperament of a Belgian Malinois. Thank you! So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it was helpful in some way. I wish you a lovely weekend and a fantastic week afterwards and I will see you next Friday with a new one. Bye-bye!